Hi there, so here today I'm with Holly Nixon and she's representing St Michael's Centre in Warwick. Hi there Holly. Hello. Hi. So St Michael's Centre then, tell us what it's all about. So we're based um, quite local to uh, Warwick Parkway Station, so it's based in Warwick and we're, um, we originally were a centre, just a church centre next to the church in Budbrook. Um, we had a nursery upstairs but we decided actually we could probably better suit um, needs and things like that uh, if we developed into a centre offering lots of rooms different sizes um, available for conferences and retreats and all sorts of different things so that's what we did over a year ago now so um, it's uh, and it's been growing since then. Fantastic and I have had the privilege of popping over to St Michael's um, earlier this year and what struck me the most I think was the the amazingly professional facilities but in the most tranquil environment I mean you're coming off a very busy road but within two minutes you're in the most beautiful surroundings and it just makes for a fantastic uh, venue for you know an event um, would you say yeah. that's what attracts people? Yeah a lot of people comment on that especially just getting out of the car in the car park they're like wow I didn't even know this place existed so it's really a hidden gem and often people actually say don't, don't advertise it, don't tell anybody because we, we really like the fact that it's quiet. <laughs> to do that we do need to advertise yeah it? yeah absolutely yeah no, well, I can imagine that thought though I mean it is such a fantastic place and and also the other thing that I thought was amazing was they just you know this, all the staff there so yourself but all the other ladies just so helpful so um, willing to make the any event really top notch and um, I think that's a great selling yeah. point if you like if we're going to call it that but but a really great benefit for, for St Michael's. Um, what yeah, they really pride themselves on hospitality there. We, we yeah. really do that, that the extra little thing that we, like, we'd like to add. Yeah, so what sort of events do you find people book with you? Uh, so we have a lot of um, people from Warwickshire Council come and use us, um, uh, fostering services, uh, just uh, coaches, people who are wanting just somewhere away from their you know, normal day-to-day -day life where they can be distracted very easily. Um, and just settle down and either have training or one-to-ones you know so the, the different sizes of the rooms really uh, enable that so we have much smaller ones which are suitable for a few people yeah. um up to, up to the one which you've been in which um you can have 60 60 or so seated people but more if you if you needed to yeah and sometimes we've had um, like people like national grid for instance who have hired the whole center so they've had upstairs mm -hmm. and the downstairs all in oh, one goes and that, that's really good yeah, so, yeah, we've got lots of options. Yes, that's that's really great. And I do remember one time popping over, and it was a glorious day. And actually, we just popped outside um, in a little seating area. But you've in fact got more land there, haven't you? I think. Yeah, uh, we've got an acre, one acre field. So uh, it's called King's Meadow, uh, and that's available for hire as well. So we have had Ovo Energy there. They've had um, a team day where they've given out awards, had a marquee up, um, had loads of like fun like fairground attractions and stuff like that kind of oh, thing. Yeah. So you can really, you can really use it, use this space to um, to suit your needs. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, a lo it's a lovely location. Even when you're upstairs and you can see out the windows and the views of the of the meadow and the fields, and you do feel like you're in the middle of nowhere, really, don't yes. you? And it, I, you definitely do. And I think your mindset shifts when you arrive there because you you the hustle and bustle is gone, and and you're just totally focused on what you're there for. And it's a wonderful. Certainly my experience when I've been over there, it's a wonderful place to be. And um, I think, um, yeah, I would urge anybody to, to pop over. But what would you say, um, so we've talked about the location being great and, and the um, sizes of the rooms, but also, you know, you've got a, a things like you've got a kitchen, so you, people can cater or bring in caterers. So you've got all sorts of other yeah. things, facilities there, haven't you? Yeah, we're very happy for people to bring their own catering in. Um, equally, we can uh, kind of link people up with local businesses. Um, and again, teas and coffees, things like that, we're, uh, we're happy to supply those as well. So, you, really, you know, really we can cater for all needs. In fact, we have, um, we have one business meeting once a month um, and they have the upstairs room. I don't know whether you, you recall the, oh, the boardroom where you've been in before, I think. Oh, yes. have, and they have that laid up um, for a dinner service for, I think it's three course meal. Um, and it's not networking, but it's, it is a business meeting yeah. uh, where people can all get together. All, um, in fact, they're all Christian uh, business owners. Yeah. Um, it's where they can sit and, uh, and be indulged and have, have a nice meal and talk over their, their issues and things like that. But we have caterers come in who um, supply the, the food for that and they serve it as well. So, so like, if you can use your imagination a little bit, there's, there's, you, know, you can really do wonders yeah. you know, with, with what we've yeah. got there. 
Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's really going from from the sublime, really, from, uh, covering everything. Really. Yeah, it just shows the scope of of the space, really, doesn't it? And and like you say, if you've got an imagination, well, you can do anything there. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. And just to clarify, I mean, you've mentioned a few businesses that go there. And, you know, if we want to use the centre, we don't have to be a member of the church, do we? No, no, not at all. No, just um, get, in, get in touch with us and we, you yeah. know, we'll be happy to discuss uh, what your requirements are and, yeah. and whether we can help you. Yeah. Fantastic. Brilliant. So you talked about just um, just over a year ago, just being, you know, opening the doors for um, mm. more than just, you know, what you were doing before. Where's, where's the future for St. Michael's? What sort of dream? to have there well we'd really love to have more people come and use us and um and then just see what people want really see what what we can offer them and how we can expand so it would be lovely to use the outdoor space much more yeah. uh, we have invested in um outdoor furniture uh, outdoor furniture which took a little while but we got there in the end because we are a charity at the end of the day yeah. so um so we have to have to try and get funding um yeah. there's more people that can use us then you know the the better and all the more things that we can we can offer everybody else yeah that's yeah. fantastic oh well that's great that's um it's so it is such a gorgeous place and i you know i do urge people to go and take a look because you like you say people don't know it's there necessarily um and i know lots of people want it kept under wraps but, <laughs> but um, we need <laughs> to keep it, it is so gorgeous and what a, a fabulous place to run workshops and, and all those sorts of things isn't it so yeah, yeah. We, are, we are happy to keep tours so if, um, if you can't make it a particular time that we're there then you know get, get in touch and we can arrange for somebody to give you a tour around and um, and have a look at the facility oh that's super yeah brilliant thank you well thank you so much for your time holly um we're going to pop up the details for contacting the center um via facebook um email or what, website and what yeah. on the next screen so thank you very much indeed and uh look forward to getting more people through your doors brilliant thank you very much sarah